All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. Hawk is back with a brand new invention. Something grabs a hold of me tightly. It's hardcore. Wish I could play it daily and nightly. Will I ever stop? Actually, yeah, I'll stop right now. <laughs> now that I've embarrassed myself, let's play hardcore. Let's rewind it back a bit. Definitely not to that rap, though. <laughs> back to a young bird when he first started playing Minecraft back in 1.16. Tired of getting f up the spy Blizzard Entertainment's pay-to-win models, I started looking for a new way to waste my time. When I first started playing Minecraft, I used the standard hard settings, with the exception of keep inventory on. I know, I know, what a pussy, right? For me, this world was a place to get away from the day's stresses without having to worry about consequences of being bad while learning a new game. While there are some pros that come along with playing this way, I also didn't have any consequences for my mistakes. So while it was relaxing, I wasn't really learning how to play the game. Do I regret playing with those settings? Absolutely not. To this day, I still play on my survival world. It's my main world to build, create automatic farms, and get stoned. Redstoned, that is. Have I gotten shit from people for doing it? Absolutely. But playing my way in my softcore world serves its purpose for me. It's a way to get away from it all and immerse myself in my favorite game and, well, just chill. When I want anxiety-driven, rage-fueled grind sessions, when I'm feeling a bit too complacent in life and want to indulge in my masochistic side, to enter a place where hope won't be of any use to me, that, that is when I play hardcore. Where are you, little buddy? Oh, you're right. Oh, hey, hey, buddy. Well, look at you. Aw. Oh, my. No, no. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. oh, yeah, you slide right in there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, look at all you. Oh, look at all you. We got the green one. The green ones, I think, look the best. Yeah, they look the most froggish, but I actually like them the most. Holy fuck, dude, just fucking clutching. See what I mean? Life is about balance. Everyone needs a little softcore and a little hardcore in their life. Duality is a beautiful thing, the yin to my yang. But today, today is about hardcore. Awesome. I play hardcore a little different than your average player. Since starting to stream my runs, the goal has been to beat the game in one sitting. To start off punching wood and end by killing a widowed mother that is the last of her species. Quite a noble goal, I know. Whether that's a 6 or 12 hour run, if a nether fortress doesn't want to be found, or there's one right next to a bastion. Oh, this is a bastion too? Nether fortress? Bastion. Let's freaking go. The luck and unluck of playing this way is both wonderful and disheartening. Sometimes both. Now having consequences, I have been truly learning the game. Every death has meaning. For instance, I will never forget the time I died learning that soul sand is a pixel lower, so you can't crouch on it next to lava. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. Now I won't forget it. I, I, I swear, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Deaths aren't the only thing that have meaning. Since it's a battle of not only skill but time, you need to get creative. I've found saddles to be the most useful item in my runs. <gasps> yes! I mean, who doesn't want to traverse the overworld on a horse? Hmm. 
No, 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 no. Fuck horses. Yeah, I'm actually going to keep both saddles. I think I want one for in the nether with those, whatever those guys are called. The real use for a saddle is on those beautiful hell creatures with their flowing hair that only rivals the likes of, well, Asmongold. Those long, sexy legs that belong on a runway. That ripe, cherry-tinted skin. Don't you just want to eat them up? Striders. Striders are how you should be using your saddles. And boy, do they have a use. Navigating the nether on a strider allows you to admire the danger from afar, while getting some easy levels along the way. Nice. Got some more XP as well. Yeah, we should actually do some enchanting. But don't forget, this is still the nether. Striders allow you to somewhat safely locate the few reasons to be in the nether. Bastions and nether fortresses. Death has welcomed me in bastions more than any other location. From skeletons helping guard the fortress in a soul sand valley. Or that one time a brute killed me as I entered the structure. <gasps> oh, come on, I said one time. And then, of course, just general skill issues. Screw you. Oh! <gasps> I hit the wrong button! No, I was so close! But like I said, you need to get creative. And by creative, I mean act like a complete coward. <laughs> and sometimes even that doesn't work. But the loot... Y you know, the loot, need I say more? Gold from a bastion is crucial. Piglin trades not only give you those sought-after ender pearls but give you the second most useful item in the nether. Fire resistance potions. Oh my god, really? In the lava? And once you make it to the nether fortress, killing blazes goes from terrifying to actually quite fun with a potion on. Just make sure to use it before you start killing them. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. Now that we're done with the nether, the stronghold is next. But don't get too cocky. Holy, two of these guys back to back, really? Oh my god, why is this so difficult? Is there two of them? Oh my god, really? And definitely don't do this. Okay. God, I love that sound. Oh shit, I guess we can't do it. No. Are you kidding me? I actually don't have Blaze? <gasps> I was kidding. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, what? Oh, freaking one shot. Sick. Uh, I guess we're done with you now. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. Oh, oh god, no. Nope. Guess we're going back in. Shit. I didn't think we needed all 14. Were there none even in it? Let's fucking go. Like a boss. Oh my god, let's go. Not even fucking worried. Not even worried. <laughs> Holy shit, what is that luck? <laughs> T 
too good. Oh, that was terrifying. Good thing we got those extra levels earlier. The Stronghold is a perfect place to start enchanting, since there are libraries with bookcases to break down, along with chests that contain enchanted books. Actually, shit, we should probably do our thing at the end. Uh, da, 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 da. I guess we'll get rid of the wool now. Yeah, we should make our enchanting setup in the end. That way if we make uh, like a Enderman farm, that might be a smart idea. Fuck, I never got Lapis. I'm an idiot. No. Oh, oh shit. We only have one enchant. Oh, I'm dumb. The randomness of Minecraft is further expanded on here. Getting Feather Falling for our boots will give us more safety. Getting Infinity for our bow will allow us to be more aggressive with our arrows. And Sharpness on our axe will allow us to chop that bitch's head off. And of course you could use beds to kill the dragon, but why trivialize such a, well, beautiful fight? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Oh my god, fuck you. Oh. If you're lucky enough to walk away with your life, you are rewarded with enough experience to upgrade further and prepare you for the end cities that await. But that story is for another day. Let's fucking go. Oh, let's go. Yes. Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> let's go. Holy, I've been trying this for so long. Oh. Yes, give me all that luscious, luscious XP. Oh. Thank you all for watching my hardcore compilation journey. Hopefully new players can learn from my mistakes. Veterans can laugh at my mistakes. And to any Minecraft professionals out there, you may have noticed I lied to you. Yes, at some point in the video, I did something that is impossible to do in vanilla Minecraft. Were you able to catch it? I'm Hawk Eagle, and I will catch you in the next one. Oh. <laughs> gotcha.